can you explain it? So yeah, the, the Rotax engine is right there. It's a Rotax 912 ULS. And uh, that's the electric motor right there, the cylindrical object. It's a 100 horsepower engine and 40 horsepower electric motor. They never run together. It's uh, you take off on your Rotax and once you're in at your cruise altitude, you switch off the Rotax and switch over to electric motor and use that. Uh, the batteries are in the wings and uh, for this iteration we've only got batteries in the wings. There is supposed to be a fifth module that's going to be sitting right here. How much kilowatt hour you have? In this? Uh, roughly 100. Mm -hmm. So you can add power. And it's uh, roughly 100 amp hours as well. So oh, as soon as you're Go duck and eyes, but see the, the blue and stuff. So. Oh, okay. So that means There's it's a thousand right watt. Huh? I, I was trying kilowatt. to do the math. So 100 kilowatt hour. You said 100 kilowatt hours, but uh, it's 100 amp hours. 100 amp hours. So that means a thousand volts? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm no. doing the math wrong. The, the amp hour to kilowatt hour conversion is kind of good. I don't know how that works. Well, it's volts times amps. I mean, no, uh, when you go from amp hour to kilowatt hour, it's not just full times amps. Um, there's some weird thing in there. I'm not, a, I'm not a battery guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you do have to take into account the rate of charge or discharge, and uh, there's Cupert's oh. exponent and all that because stuff if you want to get into the details. It but, it's, yeah. uh, it's built up in uh, yeah. terms of, you know, you've got certain things in series, then they all come in parallel. So one helps you build up the voltage to what you want it to be. Yeah, you probably know more about than either of us. I know more, about, know the, the I know more about the electric, I know more about the electric the motor than <laughs> anything else on this airplane because uh, my job, my job in particular was to uh, 